Sweet. Let me quick. All right. For this problem, what we're looking at is 98 equals b plus 34. So what they want us to do is they want us to solve for our value of b, which is our variable. We don't know what b is. Now, a lot of you on a, an equation like this, uh, it's called a simple one-step equation. You can probably think of the number probably in your head and say, oh, what number plus 34 equals 98? Well, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step kind of process that I want you to do uh, to work through this problem because once we get into a little bit more difficult problem, it's going to become harder to do it in your head. So one thing we can kind of do is we want to solve for this b, meaning we want to get the b by itself. We don't want any other numbers or variables on its side, on the right side of this equation. So what I'm going to do is one thing I can do to kind of cement it down is I can circle it. And what that's going to, to remind me in my head is don't do anything to the B. Don't touch it. Don't move it. Just leave it right there. And then also it kind of says, well, to undo, to get the B by itself, we have to undo what's happening to the B. So you can see right on, this, on the right side of this equation sign, what's happening to the B? It's being added by 34. So if we want to do, to undo addition, we have to do subtraction. subtraction. So you're going to want to subtract 34. Now, whatever you subtract on the right side by the property of equality, you have to make sure you subtract on the left side. Remember that makes like the equation e even and stuff? So 34 minus 34, that gives you zero, right? Well, b plus zero is going to be b. And then uh, 98 minus 34, that's going to give you 64. So 64 equals b. A lot of times, though, we like to write the variable in front of it. So we just rearrange it when we write b is equal to 64. So that is how I'd like you to solve it step by step by using the properties of equality, by using the inverse operations to solve your problem. All right.